So the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience lore just keeps getting more and more insane as the days go on. They made a Wikipedia page for the event, the characters are getting on the fucking news, someone is even making a movie based off the whole situation like this wasn't an actual scheme to rip off nearly a thousand families. If the event planners were smart, they would have played along and been like, yeah, this is all part of the plan to bring attention to our next event, the Las Vegas Glasgow Sphere Experience, which will feature a fully functional water park, a laser tag arena the size of of a football field, and of course, lots and lots of hot dogs. All held at the Glasgow YMCA Theater Room. Bring BYOB. But this video isn't about the event organizers or any of the memorable actors. This is about the guy who played Willy Wonka and how he is now being exposed for being an alleged groomer. A couple days ago, I saw this Twitter post calling him a nonce, and I'm like, am I really that old to where I don't know what this new word means? Turns out it's just slang for sex offender in Europe. Might as well just call him a sex offender because a nonce sounds like something Harry Potter would fucking encounter. But one of the replies was like, I need proof because this was my comfort character. And then someone links this TikTok that has since been taken down for bull. Luckily, I saved the video before any of that. But if you still don't know who I'm talking about because you only know about the Oompa Loompa and the Unknown, this guy, whose name is Paul Connell, was the one hired to be the star of the show as Willy Wonka. In doing so, he was noticed by one of his ex-girlfriends who was like, hey, wasn't this the guy I was in a relationship when I was 16 and he was my 22-year-old teacher? And before any of you guys say, well, of course she's coming out now when he's getting all this attention, in reality, he's not. Even while being Willy Wonka in the Willy Wonka experience, he is probably the most forgettable person from the whole event. Yeah, he gave us some insight on what the AI script was like, but out of everyone who has went viral from this, these are the popularity scales. He's just above the event planner who got bitched by some old Scottish women. We guarantee a full refund starting from Monday. We'll get a refund. I'm gonna call the police. But this girl, at Annie Louise Lewis, posted this TikTok before the exposing one saying, taking myself for a silly little walk to distract myself from the fact that every time I open my phone, I'm faced with a man I almost married even though I was 16 and we started dating when he was a 22 year old teacher. And of course someone is like, can you run that back? And, and she did with this post. I never planned on actually saying anything about any of this, but since he's basically famous now, these pictures are from March, 2015, which I was 17 um, and he was 22. We met because he was a teacher at the drama school that I went to. The reason this is the first post I posted on Instagram about dating him because he made me wait until after my birthday. My birthday is in March um, because it was weird because I was 16. Now, as you guys can see, this is our Willy Wonka. If you had a hard time understanding her, she said he made her wait until she was 17 to post the picture because it would have been weird if she had done it when she was 16. Already a red flag if you didn't consider dating a 16 year old at 22 one. But what's even crazier is letting her post this on her social media when you're her current teacher. You can even go on her Instagram and there's still posts from 2016 of them together. Imagine how much easier it would be for police to catch all these teachers having sex with their students if they just posted more on social media. If you're a teacher and you are having sex with your students, get, call them up right now and be like, listen baby, that you know that picture we took at lunch? Yeah, I want you to post it and I want you to tag me. No, I don't, I don't care what your parents think. You're in fifth grade now. You can make your own choices. Um, as soon as he did tell people, about it, they kicked me out of the drama school. I wasn't allowed to go there anymore. Which in hindsight, I now know is because it's illegal. No one told me that at the time. I thought you had to be 16. This is the age of consent, but if they are in a position of power, like he was because he was a teacher, that's illegal and you have to be over 18. Imagine the guy who's grooming you starts telling people you're dating, but they kick you out of school. Imagine how those conversations went. Hey, you guys are never gonna believe this, but me and Annie are dating. You mean, like your student Annie? Yeah, she's great. I She's so awesome. I think her strengths balance out my weaknesses. You mean like your student Annie? The fact that the school was aware about this situation enough to kick her out but they didn't inform the police shows that the Glasgow Sphere experience can add a mythical creature petting zoo and the people of Scotland won't even bat an eye. Whatever school she went to needs to have a Chris Hansen sting operation set up because they're just letting people pick these girls off like oranges from a fucking tree. June 2015. Um, that's me. This was New Year 2015. Um, no one Again, not many people told me it was wrong. A few people did, but most people acted as if it was fine. Good news, guys. The Glasgow Sphere will now include aliens. Literal fucking aliens 
from outer space will be there. For how much the rest of the world makes fun of America, at least we know we can collectively agree that a 16 year old dating a 22 year old isn't something that most people would be okay with. If someone in my friend group was talking about, hey, I met this great girl, she's so cool, but man, it sucks, she's 16. I would have been like, are you getting your dating tips from R. Kelly? Because if you're going to the high school to pick up your girlfriend after work, she's not the only one getting peed on tonight, you sick fucker. And as we were together for a while, like, I think five years, something like that. Um, the, like, the longer it went on, the more people were like, oh, that's so cute, that's so nice. How old, how long have you been together? And we'd be like, oh, four years, five years. And they'd be like, and like do the maths, which was really gross. So obviously it's a good thing that she realizes this now, but again, every person that was told about this, even being told when they started dating to people who didn't even know how they met, if none of you were like pedophile, pedophile to this dude's face, then what the fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't think I've ever heard of a story where the guy who's grooming the girl is openly telling people about it and doesn't get arrested. Pedophiles are foaming at the mouth right now because they're like, dude, I don't have to keep my secret and they'll compliment me. Hey Google, can registered sex offenders leave the country? Are you stupid? You gotta be retarded to even ask that. This is why you're gay. Rude. But in the end, after the video gets taken down, she uploads another one where she explains things a little more and how she actually went to the police for other incidents, but they did nothing. She would even tell people who weren't the police and they said that there was no way it could be him, he's such a nice guy even calling her a liar. The people of Scotland need an intervention about the rights and wrongs in society because there is no way that this relationship was actively being told to people and no one thought to escalate this to the police. Everyone in Scotland's like, you guys think that relationship is wrong? Just wait till you see who the principal's dating. She, he's, he, he still changes her. I hope they add this part to the movie that they're making because that would add that extra layer of realism to it. See you guys tomorrow, peace.